Hey guys, Adam here. Today we have a video comparing the iPad 3rd generation on the left versus the iPhone 4S on the right. I'm going to be testing the speeds of both devices which do have very similar specs. The devices both have on the iPad 3rd generation, it has the Apple A5X chip which is quad core graphics, dual core CPU. And for the iPhone 4S this has the Apple A5 chip which is dual core CPU and dual core graphics. For the iPhone 4S, this has 512 megabytes of RAM, and the iPad 3rd generation has 1 gigabyte of RAM. So keep in mind, I have the multitasking cleared on both devices. Let me go ahead and do that right now. And there's no longer any applications multitasking in the background. And I'm also going to go ahead and open up settings, go to Safari, and clear the cache on both devices. So clear cookies and data, and the same thing here and they are now cleared and I'm going to end settings in the multitasking as well on both devices and let's go ahead and start up the test so the first test I'm going to be doing is a pretty simple one just turning off the devices and turning them back on and seeing which one can do that uh, faster so let's go ahead and turn both off and let go at the same time and it looks like the iPad 3rd generation did turn off a bit quicker than the iPhone 4S. Let's go ahead and turn them back on. And they're now turning back on. And let's see which one is quicker. And it looks like the iPad 3rd generation did turn on a bit quicker than the iPhone 4S. Next up, I'm going to be loading up various different applications on both devices and seeing which ones load quicker. First off, let's just do Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. And the iPad 3rd generation was a bit quicker. Grand Theft Auto. And the iPad 3rd generation does appear to be a split second or so quicker as well here. Sonic CD. And about even here, maybe a split second quicker for the iPad 3rd generation. Next up, draw free. and a bit quicker on the iPad 3rd generation. Next up, let's go ahead and open up the camera. And about the same time, let's go ahead and snap some pictures. And it looks like the iPhone 4S is taking the pictures much quicker. For some reason, it looks like this is a bit laggy when I try to take the next picture. It only appeared to take about two pictures there. Next up, let's go ahead and run the Geekbench test on both devices. So I have the application on both. So Geekbench, let's go ahead and run the benchmark. And the iPad 3rd generation got a Geekbench score of 753 versus 620. And the higher the number, the better for this test. Next up, let's go ahead and open up Safari on both devices. Keep in mind, I did clear the cache and cookies on both already. Apple.com. iPad 3 was a little bit quicker. Next, Engadget.com. Keep in mind, I just loaded this on both devices so I can make it go to the desktop version. So let's go ahead and run this test. And the iPad 3 was a little bit quicker. 9 to 5 Mac. And it looks like the iPhone 4S did load that page a bit quicker. The Verge.
And it looks like they loaded this page about the same speed. And keep in mind, this is the mobile version. So I'll definitely give that one to the iPad 3 because it did load the desktop version. Alright, and I just loaded the desktop version of The Verge on the iPhone. Let's go ahead and refresh on both. And about the same, actually. So there we go guys, that's just a pretty general test of the speeds on the iPad 3rd generation versus the iPhone 4S. Altogether, from me looking at the results of this test, they're very similar devices. I mean, the iPad 3rd generation did load some of the web pages a bit quicker and open some of the applications a bit quicker. So you could say that this device is faster to get a better Geekbench score as well. However, this iPhone 4S is, of course, more than two days old, and that may be some of the reason why it didn't, you know, load everything up to par as the iPad 3rd generation. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating down below, and let me know which device you think is faster and why. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching.